today, this is not, this is a Tuesday. Oof. It, it's a week before the U.S. presidential elections. Ah, talk about politics, okay? After many months, and, uh, well, after many months, Bruce Sloan got the official, what is this, uh, International Student Association Executive. I'm an executive in the International Student Association at the University of Fort Hare. That's the University of Fort Hare symbol there. And it's a shirt that, uh, you know, when you're on the committee, when you're an executive, then they give you these shirts with the, you know, with the, I guess they call them polo shirts with the collar and stuff like that. If I was designing things, since we're international students, what I would do is I would take the collar. Since the collars come off, I would take the collar and put like flags of like African nations or, you know, nations that went to Fort Hare. I put them on the collar. But then again, you know, who am I? But <laughs> here's who I am. As an executive, I'm the executive, I'm the uh, public, public affairs, I think it's public affairs, public relations and uh, recruitment coordinator for the International Students Association. But the thing is, I, I won't be wearing this shirt. Oh, not that it's not a fine shirt, and not because I didn't design it, uh, but maybe because uh, we haven't done we haven't done work. I'm one of these people that actually believe that if you don't do the work, no matter how much you desire, how much you want, how much you want, to, you know, your fame and glory to be an executive or something like that, that you well, if you didn't do the work, you shouldn't you know, get the perks. <laughs> I guess that's a perk. I'm not really into that kind of thing. So there you go. I mean, I can give you a bunch of reasons why, but I won't. I think I'll write an email and send it to my fellow executives. But more importantly, talk about the work and the perks. Sometimes you do the work for the perks. Uh, and sometimes you just do work and you get perks. What am I talking about? Well, if you just do work and you get perks, that's like uh, the, the Donald, you know, the Donald who, who knocked off all the Republicans one by one and finally the last man standing said, hey, I did all this work. I didn't really want this perk of being, you know, the president, but, you know, he's, he's, he's on course, I suppose. But then again, he's imploding. But at the same time, he's imploding. There's a person, the Hill, Hillary Clinton, who has done a lot of work for this person. I mean, he's, she set up a long time ago, even just to become senator, not, uh, senator from, from New York City. I mean, that, that's what Robert F. Kennedy did. That's a bunch of people. You know, that's what they do. They become senators from New York. You know, she's from Arkansas, but she's doing it in New York, you know? And all well, I mean, for a long time, she's been trying to do this thing. And it looks like she's on course to do it. Well, it's not that she's on course to do it. It's just that she ain't got no viable alternative. The viable alternative, it's like Donald was knocking people off. She was knocking people off too, you know. Or she was setting up, setting up people ahead of time. So anyway, so the election's coming up. Uh, I, I usually vote absentee ballot, and my absentee ballot was due like a, a month ago. Uh, out of Virginia. And Virginia is one of those, supposed to be one of those swing states. I don't think it is. If, if King, if, if her running man, red running man can't take Virginia, then it's all over with. So in other words, what I'm trying to say is that my, my vote as usual wouldn't really count. When I say as usual, I used to vote in New York. In fact, a uh, little known secret, okay, I'll reveal it. Uh, I was almost in the same situation, not really. Um, when Barack Obama ran in 2008, I was, do, I was supposed to do an absentee ballot, and I just didn't come through. So, I mean, I wanted him to be president and all that stuff, but it didn't happen. A month later, I was glad that I, I didn't vote for him. And then, of course, you know, in, in 2012, when he was up for re-election again, I certainly didn't vote for him. In fact, I voted for the Green Party, which you should say, well, why didn't you just vote for the Green Party this year? Well, I've come to a revelation. My revelation is this. I don't like this system. I just don't like it. Third party, 29th party, doesn't matter to me. I refuse to take part in this system. It's as simple as that. Not going to do it. Not anymore. This system has got to just crash, burn, be dismantled, replaced with the system of justice, replaced. And uh, that's when I'll start voting again. Until that time, just like uh, the committee work, I don't deserve to vote. Why? Because I haven't changed the system. That's right. I have to make a decision to change the system. And so until I change the system, I'm not voting. Don't get me wrong, I'm talking about presidential election and my local stuff, I'll probably do it. Then again, Virginia's all in the, oof, I'll see what happens. I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Uh, anyway, that's my thoughts. 
uh, a week before the uh, presidential election in the United States of North America, which, uh, which uh, is the bullies of the world, which, uh, which is the supremo of, of the system, the, uh, the flashpoint for the system, the, the, as we say in the South, the tip of the spear for the system, the system that insists on bullying and uh, beating up on the downtrodden. I can't get with that. I being me, T, from the Patterson's taking the trench to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.